Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a more advanced method of making your table columns editable using an embedded drop-down. I will start by choosing the column to make editable and specifying a view path to a drop-down view that I've already created. Then I'm going to specify a couple of view params, um, namely a column and a list of options. Then on my drop-down view itself I need to create those params for column and list of options. I also need to create a couple params for row index and value, which are values that you don't have to pass in. Uh, they just pass themselves in from the table. On my drop-down component, I bind the value property to my params value and the options value to my list of options param. Then I also need to create a event on action performed that will uh, send a payload of my column, row, and value. Um, and I've, I've named it update column and given it a scope of page in this case. On my table, I'm going to create a message handler uh, that uses those variables to specify the row and column of my data to assign this value. So when I come over to a city by United States and change this value to Washington DC. You'll see first it's um, got a whole bunch of properties underneath city. Once I edit it here and change it to Washington DC, it's just Washington DC. Now there's also an easy way to make this drop down look a lot better in your table, in my opinion, and that's by coming back over to your drop down and specifying two properties under style. First one is background color, and I'm going to give it a transparent background. And then I'm also going to get rid of the border. Now when I look at my table, the drop downs look like just normal table cells with this nice drop down icon. And that's it. That's how you make a uh, drop down column for editing your table columns. Thanks for watching.